What's up guys? Another episode of Good Things Auto where today we are taking that head off right there and we are skimming or decking the block using just a piece of marble, some cutting oils, and some sandpaper. We're getting it ready for an MLS head gasket rather than a cut ring. All right guys, let's jump right in. Ran by the hot rod shop this morning and grabbed a few things that are going to help us with this. A good quality machinist straight edge and then the one my boss likes and uses. He told me to bring it as well. And then he hooked it up with some fresh rolls of 1,000, 600, and 400. So we'll start down low and work our way up until we have a, basically a mirrored finish on that surface so that MLS will adhere. 1,000 and up is going to get us into that 50 RA range that we need to be in. And we'll be able to compare it to the head once we pick that up here in a little bit. Off the rip before even skinning this just clean with this straight edge on it and we've got two thousandths gap out nothing there nothing here so far that's really promising might be a hair low either way we're gonna skim it and then come back and check it one more time but that's good first and foremost is a beautifully skimmed head. Then I have Cometic, Cometech, whatever it is, MLS head gasket. Got a new oil pan gasket as well. But most importantly is this piece of marble I got from Vlad that Carlos picked up for me. I guess this is Vlad's last minute decking stone and it's a nice one. Perfect shape for what we need to do with it. My boss like I showed y'all before, also gave us all the sandpaper we need, sticky rolls of it, so we can go 400, 600,000 and polish the block out till it looks basically, or as close as we can get it to look like the head. I have started going ahead and cleaning up the cylinder walls themselves, stuffing them with paper towels to keep them clean and taping them up. That way when we deck this, We'll get as little material in the rotating assembly as possible, but we will still, of course, be plugging other holes and then deeply cleaning and washing the block out afterward. Now, this is the PSA. I always have two PSA. Um, if it was your block or if it was Jackson's motor, if it was one I'm doing for a customer, you know I would never be blocking your deck with a piece of stone. I would be disassembling it fully all the way down to bare block taking it to the machine shop with the head and they'd be decking the block the same way they decked this head. That being said, I'd have to remove all the front assembly, front cover, chains, rear main, crank, rods, pistons, all of it. And I don't feel like doing that because I want to go drifting this Friday. So this is what we're going to do. Everybody says to make an MLS work, you need perfect roughness averages on the block and the head. But I really think we can get away with doing it like this. The only way to find out is to start skimming. So, let's get started. Okay, ready. Let's go ahead and get this sanding block set up. As you can see, this marble I borrowed from Vlad and Carlos is just perfectly flat. But unlike our sanding blocks at the hot rod shop, which are also perfectly flat, this is super hard. So it won't mold or bend or anything like that. I don't want any flex at all. So it's either this or a nice flat piece of metal, but that's not perfect. Or a piece of glass. Thick glass does work as well. We're going to start with 400. Now we are wet sanding this entire time or that paper would clog up immediately. Um, I'm gonna try a couple different cutting compounds. I was thinking so be water, like normal, but Vlad was quick to say he uses oil. So threw a little bit of VR1, cause that's all I have. I'll get breaking oil, but threw some VR1 in a squirter and we will start trying to cut this thing now using oil as our cutting compound. expecting to do cross hatching here so this way for a while and then go 
this way. Okay, after a few passes, you can already see how much better it is. Of course, we're only about halfway there. Anything that's a considerable amount darker, other than this, this is just low naturally in these blocks, but anything that's a considerable amount darker is still a low spot. So you've got to cut until you get about 95% of that black. Like get as much as you can. So I will do a few more passes with that 400 grit and then I'll report back when we're done and it's clean and it's time to move on to 600. I had to use a fair amount of 400 grit to get these cut ring grooves out, but we're basically there. As you can remember, we still have that little low square. I'll keep working that area. Otherwise, things like this that you think are low are actually just a little bit of oil. This looks great. A few places to keep an eye on. There's those dark spots here and here. So we're gonna work for another 10 minutes or so, and this should be ready for 600. That looks pretty dang good. All things considered, could be better, could be a lot worse. All right, y'all know what that means. Time for 600 grit on the block, start wet. And then I learned you can start really wet and really oily and get all the contaminant up. But once you really wanna start cutting, make sure you only use a little bit of oil and not a lot. You can also take that oil and rub it into sandpaper where it's getting really gunked up and it will clean the sandpaper and you can keep using it. So y'all know the plan here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the 600 on the block and then do the same thing I just did. Uh, and then I will report back with that finish. Then we can move on to getting the thousand grit on it and getting ready to put this head gasket on. Oh yeah. Like I said before, it's not 100%, but that is just so much better. Cool, let's get all the tape out and then clean it out with some brake cleaner and some oil. I'll do that upside down, make sure it all flushes out, and then we're gonna throw the head on it. Okay, oil pan is on, gasketed and torqued. Moving right along, time to clean out all these head stud holes and get them nice and dry and ready to put the head on and then drop the studs in and torque everything down. I like using acetone for this because it's not a huge mess and it breaks up all the oil in those thread holes and then you can vacuum it out and air blow it and get it nice and dry. I got dowels so that we can throw them back in here and get this head on. I pulled them out, of course, so that we could skim and they were, they were in decent condition, but I really like to have new ones so everything sets in correctly. Now, that MLS head gasket. Look at all those layers. This thing is crazy. I've only ever used OEM or cut ring. This will be fun to try. There it goes. So that's mostly down. Some with this one. All the stud holes are lined up nicely. No cut rings to line up this time, which is crazy. Make sure you gasket underneath right there. And right under here as well. I had forgotten, so I reached in and knocked that out real quick. And now this is set back down. And ready to drop the head on. I went ahead and vacuumed the head as well and blew it out with air. And now we'll give it a good degrease and drop this thing on. How am I gonna do this? So we're gonna turn it around and run this through. Thank you, man.